The electric power grid has been described as one of the greatest mechanical inventions of all time. The grid helps power our homes and businesses. It enables fundamental services like telecommunications, natural gas, and clean water production. And it's an essential driver of our economy, our healthcare system, and our national defense. In the last decade, rogue nations and terrorist organizations have threatened the security and reliability of power grids across the world through cyber and physical attacks. Recent reporting from the intelligence community's worldwide threat assessment by the Office of the Director of National Intelligence indicates that adversaries are particularly focused on improving their ability to launch cyber attacks that would disrupt critical infrastructure services within the United States. Russia is particularly focused on improving its ability to target critical infrastructure. Iran's opportunistic approach to cyber attacks makes critical infrastructure owners in the United States susceptible to being targeted by Tehran. China almost certainly is capable of launching cyber attacks that would disrupt critical infrastructure services within the United States. Climate change and the increasing frequency and severity of the extreme weather it brings have added even more uncertainty. To confront these challenges and improve infrastructure resilience, the grid's owners and operators, equipment manufacturers, and the U.S. government work together to share security information, conduct joint training, and participate in large-scale demonstrations and exercises. Liberty Eclipse, a program sponsored by the U.S. Department of Energy's Office of Cybersecurity, Energy Security and Emergency Response, or CSER as it's commonly known, provides participants with a secure, immersive, high-fidelity environment to enhance the cyber-physical resilience of the nation's energy infrastructure through hands-on, non-consequence practice. The Liberty Eclipse exercise allows participants to test the limitations of their equipment, people, and processes under challenging real-world conditions. Participants experience how the grid operates when confronting software vulnerabilities impacting protective relays or remote terminal units. Oil and gas operators can witness how a simple system misconfiguration can affect compressor and booster stations, storage facilities, and intake or outlet structures and renewable energy providers can work through human performance issues, configuration management challenges, or geopolitical conditions that threaten secure and reliable operations. The testbed environment is built with commercial hardware and software, assembled in realistic electrical and digital system architectures to emulate actual conditions on a large interconnected power grid while avoiding risk to their systems and customers. We had an awesome opportunity with Liberty Eclipse 2022 to actually bring infrastructure out to the range to deploy uh, uh, cyber controls for the entire range. But we also had the opportunity to build a, a model substation uh, with, with our security stack and, and how we implement our security controls in production, at least at a representative level. We were impressed with the capabilities of, of the infrastructure on the island, as well as the capability of our team and the tools. I mean, we, we feel confident that we were able to successfully exercise our architecture in the way that we intended. Liberty Eclipse has shown value by providing the opportunity to gain experience with and confidence in their processes and defensive tactics. The Liberty Eclipse exercises allow participants to collaborate with each other, the federal government, the military, national laboratories, and others. Some participants have gone so far as to test and validate their own security equipment and architectures on the Liberty Eclipse testbed environment. We're getting really excited to be a part of the Liberty Eclipse exercise coming up, uh, where we get to work with some of our government partners and some of our industry peers really understanding the capabilities of all that we do for cybersecurity, both for our great customers in the New York Westchester area and for uh, the, the entire nation. It's going to be a really exciting event. I hope everyone can, can come and enjoy it with us, and we really look forward to it. As these organizations continue to improve their resilience, the program will adapt and grow with them. In future exercises, Liberty Eclipse can provide platforms for validation and demonstration of additional research and development efforts. And as demand increases, it can also evolve to include resources from multiple geographical locations and be offered more frequently. More information on the Liberty Eclipse program can be found at www.energy.gov slash Caesar slash Liberty Eclipse.